If you struggle with shyness or social anxiety, check out our free no BS training course with actual useful advice you can do from home. None of that just get out there nonsense. The link is in the description below. For now, let's get to today's question. The question, how do I stop being shy and quiet? Answer by James Haffer Laren. Let me tell you a story. This is Major Cage, a smart guy who believed in the army but hates actual combat. He knows in warfare you can die do he avoids it and immerses himself in administrative work. He did everything to avoid combat so he has zero combat experience. However in the movie, a meteor hits Germany bringing a score of horrible aliens with it. These aliens are super fast and comes in two colors, yellow and blue. If you kill the yellow, it's okay. If you kill the blue, it's not okay because the mother alien who happens to have the power of time just starts the day all over again while keeping the memory of your attack. So if you kill a blue, you are actually doing the aliens a favor by showing them the future. This power makes the fight with the aliens hard. To combat this, the general decided to take all his army to face the aliens in one super fight, and little wimpy Major Cage couldn't wiggle himself out of this one. He was captured and put in a combat suit designed to fight the aliens. See the horror in his face. Because he had no combat experience, he died a few minutes after landing into the war zone but not after he accidentally killed the blue alien and got infected with its blood. So he didn't die but went back instead to a day before that instead. The blood gave him the power of the blue alien and can't be killed anymore. So what happens is that each time he is murdered by the aliens, he goes back to the day before that. And since he can't stop the general from sending him to the front even though he warned him, he died and relived that day hundreds of times. What do you think happened? Can you see any horror in there? You bet not. Because the more he relived the day, the more he realized he had nothing to fear and got really good at killing the aliens. He learned their patterns, where they would be and if they killed him, all he had to do was anticipate them tomorrow. He knew if he died, it's a favor not a sentence. And he could just come back tomorrow to kill the alien once again. Cage's story might seem totally unrelated to social anxiety and shyness but that is where you would be wrong. We actually have more in common with him than you think. We are all like Cage and every stranger around us are like those yellow aliens. We are so afraid to get into contact with them, war zone, so we don't get rejected or look awkward, get killed. However the fact is we are all infected with the blue, we won't die from the rejection. Rejection and awkwardness is actually a painful favor. With each rejection, our confidence rises and we learn from our mistakes. Trying and failing gives us information on how to behave, attack, with more brutal efficiency in the future. So there really isn't anything complex about beating shyness. You only need to take action and yeah expect to fail just like Cage does. Believe you'll mess up but with each messing up, you'll see there is nothing to be afraid of. You'll learn more about the intricacies of influencing people. Just take action and see what works. See what gets you killed and what kills them. You'll get to sharpen your skills, small talk, jokes, smiles and listening with brutal efficiency. You become a badass once you start to live, reject and repeat. I tell people all the time, you don't need books to overcome shyness. Fuck. You don't need a therapist that will listen to you for $300 per hour. You only need someone that will force you to take action over and over again. It's better to pay your friend $5 to force you to talk to your crush than buying a book or meditating for 16 hours. Just as Richard Branson said, you don't learn to walk by following rules. You learn by doing, and by falling over. Expose yourself to the monster you think are surrounding you and you'll realize they are all friends waiting to happen once you hack them with the right tools and efficiency. I love hacking into life and uncovering wisdom not taught in school. You can grab my latest free guide, Get the Edge with Self-Confidence Here? Answer by Rose Cruz. Finding out how to stop being shy and quiet can be difficult, but following these tips and techniques you can make friends with people you want to have around you. And believe me, you will have fun and enjoy social situations. You will even be able to stop being shy around your crush no fear of blushing or whatsoever anymore. I did it myself and truth to be told losing shyness isn't exactly child's play but the success and the overall improvement of my life is very well worth doing it. If your shyness is keeping you away from a person you want to be near read below how to get him back. Having a great program to guide you is very important to find your way and keep you motivated. How to stop being shy and quiet. Increasing confidence, I know this seems obvious, however it doesn't just mean to talk more or with more power or believe in yourself. It means have self-confidence, try to believe in whatever you are doing and understand why you are doing it. 
This will help you to stop being shy and this will make you feel as if everything you do and say has a purpose and a meaning, making it easier to speak your mind. Learn about yourself. Understanding why you have the thoughts and feel the way you do is one of the most important parts of overcoming your shyness. If you can try to grasp what makes you anxious in those situations, you can try to use the previous skills to change this thinking. Know your strengths. Make a list of all your positive qualities and list a friend or family member to help if you need to and read or recite it when you're feeling insecure. Let it remind you how much you have to offer. Choose relationships carefully. Shy people tend to have fewer but deeper friendships which means your choice of friend or partner is even more important. Give your time to the people in your life who are responsive, warm, and encouraging. Remember that one bad moment doesn't mean a bad day, especially when you spend a lot of time inside your own head, as shy people tend to do. It's easy to distort experiences, to think that your shyness ruined an entire event when chances are it wasn't a big deal to anyone but you. To know more about how to stop being shy? Answer by Safian Gobar. First of all, you should understand that many people have had this issue, including me, and that it's possible to solve it in a small amount of time. Here's my recommendations. I have written a small guidebook with all the things I went through and how I got through them. It's really practical and very cheap. Give it a try. How I Became an Extrovert, from a Former Introvert, Kindle Edition by Safian Gobar. Health, Fitness and Diet in Kindle e. Books at Amazon.com. Wish you all the best in your life. Stay positive.